Hi, Kerry Bowling, Alaska Housing, Governmental Relations and Public Affairs. Have you ever been out in public and people ask you about Alaska Housing Finance Corporation and you really don't have a good answer about what it is that we all do? Well, this next presentation will give you a little bit better idea, hopefully, and some answers that may assist you uh, when people ask those questions. Welcome to this overview of HFC for employees, which is focused on how the general public sees HFC. Our public face, if you will. Employees may see HFC as a series of departments, as shown in this org chart. But that's generally not what the public sees when they think of HFC, or even what they're generally interested in. They might have more of a sense of different images of HFC, such as a sign outside our building. They may know we do home loans or energy programs. They might know we have public housing, or they might know about one of our subsidiaries. But how do you, as an employee, make what HFC is and what we do understandable to the general public, since we do all of these different things? Well, a good place to start with is with our mission statement which is all about why we're here and what our purpose is. And the mission statement is this, to provide Alaskans access to safe, quality, affordable housing. Here's something else that you might want to know about when you're talking to the general public is, what is HFC? A lot of people ask, uh, are you a company? Are you a government department? Are you a nonprofit? Well, here's a description that might help you. HFC is a public corporation that provides housing, finance, and energy programs and pays dividends to the state. So HFC is Alaska's housing agency. Now let's look a little closer at some of these uh, aspects of HFC. When we say HFC is a public corporation, and we are. We're a corporation, a public corporation, owned by the state of Alaska. We're not a state department like the Department of Transportation and Public Facilities, etc. And as a public corporation, HFC has a legal existence that's independent of and separate from the state. Now, functionally, we're listed under the Department of Revenue, but we have a separate and independent existence. Let's look at uh, the housing, finance, and energy programs part of this definition of HFC or explanation of HFC. Housing. What housing programs does HFC provide in general? Well, we have public housing and rental assistance. We have home ownership with loans. For finance, what kind of financing does, do we offer? Well, we finance home loans, uh, we finance special needs housing, and assist in financing other projects that the state may ask us to do. And energy, what energy programs do we provide? Well, many people know that we provide rebates and weatherization for more energy efficient homes. Now let's look at the pays dividends to the state. What's that about? Well, when AHFC makes money, because we are a corporation, a part of our profits go to the state of Alaska. So we make money for the state. Even though we may make money and pay dividends as a corporation, we work with the state on our budget, which must be approved. Some people ask, well, how big is AHFC? Well, we have approximately 300 employees with offices in 16 communities throughout the state. Most of those office locations are for the public housing division. Also, who does HFC report to? Well, again, HFC is a corporation, and as a corporation, 
we report to a board of directors. Our board of directors consists of seven members and who are appointed by the governor of the state of Alaska. And who's on that board? Well, three positions are commissioners of the state. The Commissioner of Revenue, the Commissioner of Health and Social Services, and the Commissioner of Commerce, Community, and Economic Development. Also, there are four members of the general public which are appointed by the governor to serve two-year terms. And one member has to be someone with expertise or experience in finance or real estate, another who is a rural resident of the state or who, is, who has expertise or experience with a regional housing authority, uh, a member who has expertise or experience in residential energy efficient home building or weatherization, and a member who has expertise or experience in the provision of senior or low income housing. Do you know AHFC's birthday? Might be a good thing to know. We've been around a while. We were created May 26, 1971 in House Bill 167 sponsored by the governor who at the time was Governor Bill Egan. So AHFC has been around a long time. We've been profitable, not profitable, but extremely resilient. After many years of up and down markets, good times and bad, we are still here providing Alaskans access to safe, quality, affordable housing. So, that all being said, what really is HFC's main areas of focus? What do we want to simply communicate to the general public about what we do? Well, we are focused on these things. Bonds and financing, loans for single family homes and multifamily buildings, grants for projects designed for special needs populations, constructing, operating, and maintaining public housing in Alaska, and energy efficiency programs. Now at the bottom of those things, so that list there of five things, is there our little organizational chart of HFC that we saw earlier. And the reason that, that that is at the bottom of the list is because our organizational structure, all the departments of HFC, support those efforts above the bonds and financing, the loans, the grants, the public housing, the energy, that's what we do in all our departments. We support those activities. Okay, so let's look at uh, number one on that list, the bonds and financing part. And in the, this picture that you see on the slide, you may or may not know that those two buildings were financed by Alaska Housing Finance Corporation in downtown Anchorage. So, bonds and financing. What are bonds? Bonds are sold by HFC in order to finance loans and projects. But again, just what is a bond? Well, generally speaking, a bond is a promise to repay the principal along with the interest on a specified date. The very basic understanding of a bond. And, like a loan, it's used to finance long-term investments. And of course, investments and loans have to be backed by something, and they are backed by assets. Our bonds are backed by assets, and HFC has considerable assets, cash, buildings, properties, etc. So, HFC issues bonds. And money from bond sales allows HFC to purchase mortgages and finance other projects. HFC makes money from mortgages and investments, which do what? Well, they pay off the bond debt. They pay for some, not all, of our programs and operations. 
and they provide a dividend to the state. So finally, as of the end of fiscal year 2013, AHFC's assets totaled $3.8 billion. And AHFC has contributed more than $1.9 billion to Alaska's State General Fund through cash transfers, funding of capital projects, and debt service payments. And who's responsible for all this at AHFC? Our finance department. Now let's switch over and talk about loans. AHFC has very many loan programs, but here's a way to categorize them. Uh, Single-family loans, multifamily loans, public building loans, and other loans. So single-family loans, those are up to fourplex. We have first-time home buyer, rural, veterans, refinance, second mortgages, mobile home loans, energy loans, etc. Energy loan programs. Multifamily, which means five or more units. We have uh, loans for special needs populations, senior housing, emergency shelter. For public buildings, we have a special program for making energy improvements in public buildings. And we have a loan program that covers a number of other things, or loan programs. Condo association loans, loans to developers of affordable housing, etc. You can see a listing of all our loan programs on our website. And here are some important points to remember about our loan programs, especially when people are asking you about them. Uh, interest rate, there are interest rate reductions for low-income individuals and for improving the energy efficiency of uh, homes. We have down payment assistance through approved lenders. We have construction and energy standards for homes built in 1992 and after. So in order to get a loan, they have to meet certain construction and energy standards if they were built in 1992 or after. And interest rates may change daily, so people need to check the website. But a very, very important thing is, number one, that for most loans that Alaska Housing have, has, an individual has to contact one of our approved lenders for a loan. They don't come directly to HFC, but they go to one of our approved lenders, and they are located on our website. So, if someone's interested in an HFC, lo HFC loan, they can contact an HFC approved lender and visit the website for loans, interest rates, and who those approved lenders are and the department that's responsible for all this is the mortgage department. And here's something else you can tell people. We have free home buyer education classes at Alaska Housing. They're called Home Choice and these free Home Choice classes are done on a regular basis. People can sign up online and if they end up getting an HFC loan after they take the class they will qualify for a $250 credit on the commitment fee of the loan, which is a nice little financial incentive. It's also a great way whether to, for people to learn about the whole home buying process and also to learn about all the different loans and options that AHFC has. So be sure and refer people when they ask about our loan programs to our home choice class. Okay, now let's switch over to grants. HFC offers a wide variety of grant programs to ensure that Alaskans have access to safe, quality, affordable housing. And some important points to remember about our grant programs is that generally they are for nonprofits and housing developers, not for individuals. 
also grants usually have to be combined with other AHFC products or monies or federal and other state program dollars or other incentives or tax credits. And grants are usually a competitive process. So you have to be awarded a grant in a competitive process and it, it is usually very competitive. Some of the grant programs we have are teacher, health professional, and public safety housing, uh, senior citizens grant programs, special needs grant programs, program or grants for homeless assistance, home rehabilitation, operating expenses, the goal and home programs. You can find about, out about all these on our website. And again, these are generally for housing developers or nonprofit agencies that develop housing, not for individuals. So if uh, someone is interested in HFC grant programs, they can visit our website, click on the partners link on the website and click on grants. And the department responsible for grants is the planning department. Now let's switch over to public housing. Public housing is a big piece of HFC. Almost half of the 300 HFC employees work in public housing. And generally, public housing has two main programs, the first two you see on the screen. Public housing units, which HFC owns and manages, and then housing choice vouchers. These are vouchers for rental assistance so that individuals can rent from approved private landlords. We also have uh, public housing units for senior, uh, seniors and for people who experience disabilities. And also we have a family self-sufficiency program to help people move out of public housing. Now, public housing is mainly funded by the U.S. Uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, for operating, maintaining, and constructing low-income housing. AHFC owns, operates, and maintains over 1,600 units around the state. And then we provide more than 4,000 vouchers for rental assistance in the private market. So to summarize, in total, we assist more than 5,600 families around the state. And public housing is, has offices in these locations around the state. And this is important to know, and it's on our website, but this is where an individual goes to apply for public housing. Now, if someone is interested in HFC public housing programs, what do you do? They can visit the website, go to the Find Housing link, and you can also go to the Housing Assistance locations to find where to go to apply, that list that I just showed. And the department that's responsible for public housing is the Public Housing Division. Energy. We'll switch over to the energy programs now. We have a number of energy programs. Some of the ones that are most popular and people know about are the home energy rebates for both new and existing um, construction. And then the weatherization program, which is an income-based program. So you have to qualify by income. And if you do for that program, the improvements made on the home are done for free. There's also the Research Information Center, or RIC, and RIC Library at HFC headquarters in Anchorage that provides free information on housing construction and energy efficiency. And we also have a home energy rating system called ACWARM. We also deal with building energy efficiency standards, or BEES, and we have a number of other energy programs as well. And again, the emphasis on energy is for energy efficiency. We're not as much involved in renewable energy. We're more involved in energy efficiency. 
and it's generally for individuals and public buildings, we really don't have any energy efficiency programs per se for businesses. Although businesses, nonprofits, and housing authorities may help us deliver those programs. And the funding sources for those are from a variety of places, HFC, state, federal uh, funds, all are uh, help to uh, provide those energy programs. And so if someone's interested in HFC energy programs, they can visit the website, click on the Save Energy link, or they can call the Research Information Center or RIC at 1-800-478-4636. And the department responsible for energy programs is Research and Rural Development Division, uh, sometimes called R2-D2. And last but not least, HFC has three subsidiary corporations under us. Uh, the newest one being the Alaska Corporation for Affordable Housing. We also have another subsidiary, AHCC, which is the Alaska Housing Capital Corporation, and NTSC, which is the, the Northern Tobacco Securitization Corporation. And I encourage you to go to our website, uh, click on About, AHFC and you can see the subsidiaries listed under there and find out more about them, why were they, they were created, what they're for. But generally speaking, they were created because there was a need. The state saw a need for these subsidiary corporations or the financing that they could provide. And they came to HFC because of our record of success, knowing that we could put these things together and make them work. So, to summarize, when people ask you about AHFC and what we are, well, we, as a corporation, as departments under AHFC, we are really a support team for the bonds and financing, for the loans, the grants, the public housing, and the energy programs, which provide Alaskans access to safe, quality, affordable housing. And if you have any questions on this, please let me know. Kerry Bowling here at Governmental Relations and Public Affairs. Thanks.